the Dogon law of languages. I'm sure you've already seen the video on the formula for language. Language equals event divided by time. We continue our discussion on language. Now we have the Dogon law of languages. Anyway, if you haven't seen that video yet, it's the, the video right below this one. Uh, you'll be able to see it or uh, view it. And then you can come back to uh, read this or listen to this uh, law. The Dogon law of languages states the language you speak is directly proportional to the event which you, within which you are engaged based on the time that you accountably attest to your engagement in that event. i read that again. The Dogon law of languages states that the language that you speak is directly proportional to the event within, within which you are engaged based on the time that you accountably attest to your engagement in that event. If you do not meet these requirements, your language is worthless. Those the requirements are you got to be accountable to the event and the time in which you engage yourself. Let's say for instance you are having dinner. That's an event. The time you are having dinner that's uh, relevant. Because you cannot have dinner during lunch time or breakfast time, so time is very relevant. So you have this requirement here that says that you must be accountable. Now, if you are having dinner and you have so many other things that are engaged in on your mind, that means that whatever it is that has to attribute to the language that you are speaking at that particular time has no accountability at all because it's not relating to the dinner that you're having you are not connecting with the dinner that you're having and so therefore you are denying yourself your neurological system is not completely receiving the essence of what you are putting into it into them into your neuro 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 neurological system there's no connection you are divorced from your neurological function abilities because here you are your mind is talking about something else your cells are performing some other duty here so the language that you are speaking right now doesn't make any sense at all to your cells and so therefore you are bound to have some uh, uh, outcome unworthy outcome no wonder people get up and say i have a heart bomb um uh, you know the, the the food i ate is giving me some kind of a uh, reaction where well, that reaction or or the problem that you will have from eating that food will never have occurred if you were directly connected to the language of your cellular system the, this thing is not simple this thing uh, i am giving you this information here to make you think because you are not thinking at all and so therefore because you are not thinking you are engaged in a language that is full of here here let me go let me give this down to you with this definition you can now tell why there are so many lies deceptions falsifications plagiarist and bad education because uh, uh, people who are deceiving other people are completely disconnected from their ne neurological cellular functioning system they don't even understand it and yet they will get up and say i'm a scientist and then they turn around and lie i'm a doctor and then they turn around, uh, around and falsify documents on you i'm a politician and then they turn around and give you false uh, bad economies Get, don't take you out of your, your your employment and all of that and yet they are there laughing and smiling making everyone else look stupid just as stupid as they are so this is what we are saying the language people use to communicate is designed to divorce them from their neurological sanctities so get your sanity now at the dogon get your sanity now at the dogon the 
African Dogon. The you have been conned, my friend. This system you love so much has conned you. Had made you forget yourself, forget how your neurological cells communicate. Communication is a language. So the inner communication that happens at the cellular level is what matters. Right now, because you are so divorced from your cellular uh, level of communication, your DNA is in pain. These people are destroying your DNA as well. So the communication that happens between your DNA uh, 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 protein uh, uh, codons, the communication that happens between your DNA protein codons are all in error catastrophe and so therefore the shapes of your cells are in in it in a terrible state it was all designed to put you in this crazy situation and you don't even know it and you continue to love this system thinking they are giving you opportunities opportunities for what you know you can create your opportunity all you need to do is, is get up is get your cells to walk back you will regain your motivation get your cells to communicate you will regain your ability to, to challenge this deception. Get yourself to communicate and you won't need any God. You won't need any religion. You won't need none of that stupidity. Come on, come back alive. Come back alive. Why do you want to depend on your fellow man? Why do you want, why do you want to go to a doctor? When the doctor doesn't even know how your body works. You know how your body works more than any doctor. Yeah, you get up and say, I'm going to see my doctor. You begin to glorify them. What do they know? So here is time to regain your sanity. It's time to come back home to yourself and get out of this nonsense. This is the Dogon law. Let me read the law again. The D law of languages. The language you speak is directly proportional to the event within which you are engaged based on the time that you accountably attest to your engagement in that event. If you do not meet these requirements, your language is worthless. With this definition, you can now tell why there are so many lies, deceptions, falsifications, plagiaris or plagiarism, and bad education. The language people use to communicate is designed to divorce them from their neurological sanctities. Get your sanity now at the Dogon. Thank you. I am Professor Momo of the Dogon University of Thought.